Austin, would you like to tell us about our character concept? Sure. It is a familiar friend from our patron, Charles Kuntz. Thank you. Uh, my wizard player's familiar that we are role-playing is his grandfather spirit brought back in owl form. Doesn't grant any major benefits or anything, just a lot of flavor for the creature and fun roleplay moments. Was thinking of having a person capture his familiar via a magic globe and make it so he can't summon him back until rescued. Uh, I planned on letting him still summon a familiar, but it will be a random spirit until he gets it back from the soul gem. I like this. It sounded very Pokemon-esque for yeah. just a brief moment. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta catch them all. <laughs> As a Chelsea. Oh my god, what if there's a hunter whose sole goal is to catch all the familiars in the world? That's a, that's a lot of familiars, man. Then again, I guess Ash Ketchum is trying to catch I was gonna like say it could be Pokemon. Bash caught him. <laughs> Bash caught him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is really cool. I love the idea of tying a, spe- a wizard's familiar to something in his backstory or to... Um, Something else other than just this random spirit that he he summoned. Because think about how that interaction is going to go now if it's a grandfather's spirit and then I end up shooting it with an arrow. Yeah. Not probably great. Um, I can see the player <laughs> having conversations with it and talking about the good old times and something like that. I, I think it adds a lot of role play. The fact that... Um, he, he he is you're allowing him to do that i'd be interested to know if uh charles is actually adding personality to it to really make it stand out is there lore behind the father like maybe he was a big smoker so the damn thing sits on the tops of chimneys all the time or some shit like that uh, <laughs> one little spark says he's died three times <laughs> that's awesome um so i think this is a great idea would you would you uh do something like this if you ran a wizard with F- find familiar yeah, it's definitely one option you, you can go with. So, yeah. I mean, sl- slide over a little I bit. I certainly would too. I didn't realize uh, you weren't in. Uh, my bad. It would just yeah, be... I keep going over, but <laughs> we can get closer. There's plenty of room. Well, I don't bite hard. The, well, well, the stand was in the way. I, got so. this. I can move yeah. it. I, can take I just care like of the it. fact that it's a familiar, and now you're actually familiar with the familiar. Oh, go figure. I see what you did there. <laughs> go figure. Now I, you actually know this thing. I also like the capturing of it on a magical globe because now it's not just a random summon that he just. I'll summon another one. It's important driving a urge or a reason for that player to now chase it down. So you could also probably instead of just uh, again, if you wanted to be a little bit different, uh, you can instead of just using a magical globe, you could actually probably just use the trinket list and just roll on the D100 list and just oh. roll something, and then you use that and you just like chant something, maybe your ancestor's name, and then boom, it's there. Oh, that's cool. It's a wolf, but it's oh, there. <laughs> what if when you're doing the, the find familiar ritual, you include like a, a, a trinket that your grandfather had? There you something go. that was yeah. his, like a pipe or something. <gasps> and then you blow in the pipe and smoke billows out and takes the form of an owl and hoot appears. There you go. I love it. See? Definitely a cool concept. Yes. Very cool. Thank you so much, uh, patron Charles, for not only being a patron, but also submitting this a familiar friend. Hey, thank you so much for all your support and watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. We are the hosts of the Crit Academy, a Dungeons & Dragons discussion podcast. Be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. And be sure to ring that bell. Get our latest content as we toss it out there. And it's good stuff. Everyone loves fat loots and great D&D inspiration. Keep your blade sharp and spells prepared, heroes.